guys? Hey, it's been a long time. It's been a while. A lot longer than I planned. Um, and I apologize for that a little, you know. Um, I figured I would use this opportunity just before we get into the stream to explain a little bit just in case anybody's seen this in the, uh, like, after, after, you know, after now, after I'm, after I'm posting it, we should say. God, I've been sitting by myself too long. I forgot how to speak. But anybody who sees this after the fact to kind of know, like, why it took me so long and what changes will be happening. Um, well, honestly, after the last episode of FF9 that I did, I just realized that I had been pushing. You know, if you look back, I've been pushing for the last year on this channel hard. 2020, I went all in with this channel, and I never stopped for anything. And by the time I got to Jan January last month, I was kind of, you know, I'd been pushing for so long, and I had so many different projects going on at once. Other than this game, we had like five other ones going on that I just kind of shut down. I got to the point where I said, I need to take a break because I'm it's starting to feel like a job. And that's, you never want something like this an experience like this. You never want this to feel like it's a 9 to 5 job. And so, I took a bit of a personal break. And then, um, unfortunately, that ended up um, taking even longer than I had anticipated. I planned on taking like a month, uh, a month, a week or two a break. And, um, you know, just doing some me time, and then some elements of my personal life exploded right around the same time, so I had some things I had to deal with, and just got to a point where even thinking about trying to stream, I'd be like, oh god, I don't want to do that right now. And I finally, you know, the last couple days, I've gotten to the point where I started feeling like I wanted to do it again, and I meant to do it earlier today, but I ended up holding off, and then it got to be about 10 o'clock, and I was like, you know what, screw it, let's just do it, why not? Let's just go for it. So, again, as an update for everybody who, who didn't see the, um, um, what do they call those? The, um, community post. Yeah, that's what they're called. The community post I made about a week ago. There, um, is gonna be some changes to the gaming schedule in the future just to keep me from getting burnt out. I'm going to try, and I emphasize try, to keep myself to doing only one game at a time. For the most part. It doesn't mean the other games we had running are going to stop completely and we're abandoning them. No, they're just going on hiatus for a while. The PlayStation games we did are on hiatus for a long time until I can figure out a way to... Um, probably until I can get a, a decent second computer that I can run my streaming rig on because I can play the... I can play those emulated PS2 games just fine by my on my own, but the moment I start trying to run streaming software at the same time, it starts lagging. But the other games, like you know, Final Fantasy VIII, Dragon Quest XI, um, and the other ones we had planned, there's also Xenoblade, which um, the Wii, I've been running with the Wii emulator, which works a lot better than PS2. Those ones will be coming to, um, in, in like a, uh, an order that I will clarify later on. I haven't quite finalized the order in which I want to go with those, but I'm pretty sure that the next one after this will be... I'll be returning to Xenoblade. The Xenoblade was the first one we started, and we just, once the Final Fantasy games kicked off, especially this one, once I dived into this, dove into this, there we go, see, English. Once I dove into this, that game really fell to the wayside, so that will probably be the next game. And, um, it's also, doing one at a time will also help me, because part of why I got burnt out with the games is that I'm not the type of gamer that takes two, three months to finish a game. No, I'm the type of gamer that will sit for hours and hours at a time and binge a game until I can get it pretty much done in just a couple days. And although, you know, doing a stream more than three or so hours on YouTube kind of can become a bit, um, um, you know, there are difficulties that come with that. Doing one game for you know consecutive streams, so it helps me to keep will help me keep myself interested and also help me to get through them quicker. So that's what we will be doing. And until this game is finished, we will be concentrating exclusively on FF9 for the um, for the let's plays. Unless I get a you know a bug 
where I, I just want to get into back on to do an episode, like a single episode here and there of maybe the Xeno, Xenoblade or FF8 or something if I decide, because that, that last FF8 stream, I'm still kind of, kind of chapped from that, you know, uh, Diabolos, I think, what was that his name? Diabolos really kind of whooped me, so I might at some point do a single episode for that here and there, but, uh, but it sh we shouldn't be too many more episodes in left in this game anyway, because we're already about two-thirds of the way in. So anyway, with all that said, let's get back to it. Nah, it's been a long time. It's been even longer than I realized when I went back and looked at the, um, um, when the last episode was. I was like, sheesh. Here we go. Now I have to remember where the hell I'm supposed to go. That's another part of the problem when I was playing so many games. I'd like, come back to one of them and be like, oh, okay, well, what am I supposed to do now? Okay. So that's her village, that weird little young pile looking thing right there. They could have done a much better job on that model. Yes, I, um, if I remember correctly, shouldn't I be heading back to Alexandria somehow? Wouldn't I have to go to the Gargant Caves? Another thing that happened was whenever I was um and during my downtime, I would try to play. There was a couple games I tried to play and I just couldn't get into them. Just you know, I'm in kind of an odd position now with these left plays where I don't know. But yeah, it was I, I I just couldn't make the commitment to a, to another um. 50, 60, 70 hour game while I had these other ones going on. I'm lost. Oh, there we go. But yeah, so I guess we're... I'm definitely locked in on these games I've got going on now. I couldn't even do another one if I wanted to. I play it for about 10 seconds and I'm like, I can't do this. There, that should help with the audio a bit. It's been, like I said, it's been a while, been a while since I streamed, and 
I did some, you know, I tried to do some things on Discord that ended up kind of, I fiddled around with my settings and lost where I, you know, that sweet spot that I had everything set at. Hopefully that should help. Move! I still have no idea if I'm going the right way, Koopa. We just lost those stones, so... I mean, these are definitely areas I've been through, so I'm guessing I'm going the right way. Also, um, another good, th good thing that will come of stopping the FF8 playthrough is that there is um, an update to the mod, to the HD mod I've got. It should be coming out within the next week or so that, that makes... I love this one, but the one for FF8 is absolutely phenomenal. Like, it's it's unreal how good it looks. Um, anybody who's on the Discord has seen it because I posted pictures and man, it's... Oh, look! The heavens and the earth! How do I get out of here? Doggy! Hey! You jerk. Rally who? Hold on. It's been so long, you guys will understand if I need to look at a guide. So I'm looking up, I'm looking at the guide to figure out what exactly I'm supposed to do right here. Just to make sure I'm not backtracking all this way when I really don't have to. This is not helping me. Oh, I need to go back to the tree. Okay. I need to go back to the tree. So I went the entirely wrong way. Oh, 
All right. What's up, black and brown? Good to see you, bud. What's up, Zamra? Good to see you, bud. It's been a while. I've been, you know, life happened. And I got severely burnt out, so I took some time. Just started, though, so... Didn't miss anything. Um, I, as I explained in the beginning of the video, um, um, there will be some changes to the way I, I'm doing these streams just because um, I realized at, or like not too long after we ended the last stream that, that I was just doing too many games at once. It was too much. And so, for the most part, we will be sticking to just one game at a time for now because I was getting so burnt. And, um, and that doesn't mean the games that we were doing before are getting cancelled. They're just um, going on, on, on hiatus and then I'm going to do them one after another. So after this, my plan is whenever we're done with this game, which shouldn't take too much longer because this is the end of the second disc, um, we'll go to um, Xenoblade because that game got left way in the dust. That was the very first game I really started playing on here and it just got left behind. Yeah, I was going to ask how those streams were going, black and brown. There's still a little mist, but at least there's no more coming out. That must mean Kuja isn't here yet. What happened to the mist? It's definitely not a good idea to play multiple games at once that are 50, 60, 70 hours long. We beat the beast that breathes it. So much for the mist continent. No more mist. They must possess incredible powers to accomplish such a feat. Whoa. Sedan, there's a silver dragon. It's him. He flew from the ruins of Bermesia flying, riding a silver dragon. Oh, is this where we're going to get that dope song, man? Oh, man. Oh, well, that's a dope one, but it's not what I was expecting. It's Kuja, all right, and he's riding that dragon. Oh, how I've longed for this day. The day I might finally cast away this mask to reveal my true self. Now, it no longer matters if the Eva tr Eva tree is liberated. It means nothing to me. Ha ha ha! The tree is so beautiful. Its beauty becomes the great mother tree that lives among the stars. Silver Dragon, let us watch the drama unfold from the trunk of Eva. No one shall interrupt us there. Who do I want to take with me to fight Kuja? Change party members. No, that's a good order.
I, I mean, I kind of saved before this. I saved relatively recently. I mean, all I was doing be um, was running around and trying to figure out where I was going, so... Now that I know where I'm going, I it should be easy enough to get back here. Just to be safe, though. Can I help you, Koopa? And I can use one of the 87,000 tents I've got. By the way, just to know, um, would you guys be cool with, um, some more late night streams? Because that's usually when I'm more comfortable doing them. It's later at night. I mean, and I've also thought, you know, I've talked before about starting a Twitch, and when I start that, most of my streams will probably be, like, late, late night. It's quieter in the house, and I've said before that part of my difficulty sometimes in streaming is that I... My grandmother currently lives with us, and she's got um, dementia, so she'll just come running in here and right in the middle of when I'm doing this. Or, you know, something will happen out there, and I'll have to go check on it. Good to know, guys. I hear those drums, and all I can think is, Buddy, you're a boy, make a big, nice day in the street. Don't be a big man someday, you got mud on your face. Hey, buddy. I'm, I'm, the channel mascot, meaty, meaty boy, the dog, came over to see me. Hey, buddy. We'll, if, we'll, we'll pass the trunk if we go any farther. He's a, he's a very good boy. If you hear the thunk, that's his tail because I told him he's a good boy. Boom, boom, boom. Hundred pound, hundred plus pound bully pit with a, with a giant tail. Kuja went down that trunk. Say, Zidane, how are we going to get up there? Can't we climb there? Whoa, that's pretty tall, dude. Not me! Me neither! I don't think I can either. We came all this way. Now what? What's the problem? You should just go by yourself. We gotta go face Kuja together. How did this wimp end up beating me? <clears throat> Whoa, hey! Hey, Amaranth, watch where you're walking! You almost knocked me down! He who hesitates is lost. You'd best remember that. Well, I prefer my way or the highway. Whatever. Like you actually have a plan. Oh yeah, Smarty Pants! Don't forget, you're the one that lost to Zidane! Shut up, brat. A plan? Huh? I didn't know this dude was going to be such a douche. That, that's right, Amarant. You owe me one, remember? It's payback time. Shoot. There's some gargant grass around here, so a gargant can't be far. I want you to catch one for me. Then we can all get to the- get on it. We can all get on and ride to the top. Why should I do all that when I could just take the kids up myself? Huh? Huh? How did I ever let this dimwit beat me? <clears throat> hey, whoa! He sure has spirit. All right, Garnet. I'll just carry you piggyback. Huh? Hey, Sedan, wait just a... The weak lose their freedom to the strong.
Such is the way of the strong, and it is the providence of nature that only the strong survive. That is why I needed strength. I learned of powers that would daunt even him over ten years ago. Such a long time. Now my forces are ready to strike. Ah, the suspense is terrible. So they've come this far, have they? Perfect. I'll warm up on them until the elephant lady shows up. Thanks, Amaranth. Now we're even. Show me what you guys can do. There's Kuja! Yeah! Get ready, guys! They're really hyping this battle up, dude. I'm kind of worrying. Kuja, maker of black mages. Any enemy of Zidane is an enemy of mine! Okay, let's go! You are Kuja, correct? My name is... What? My name is... Who? Princess Garnet Till Alexandros. I wish to ask you something. Was it really you who persuaded Mother to start the, the war that threw the entire Miss Continent into chaos? And you made everyone, the Black Mages, into instruments of war? Oh dear. The princess is such a bloodthirsty little puppet. I don't have the power to do such a thing. I just gave them a little recipe. Begin with broth of mist, add form fermented souls, and boil. Then pour genuine black magic into a mixing bowl and heat to... STOP IT! I'm not done telling how to make soulless toys out of the dregs of souls! Dregs of souls? You mean mist? First, you don't want to listen. Now you start asking questions. Oh, brother. But you're not ready yet. Why, you... Don't you feel anything? Taking the lives of so many? Spare me the lecture. Lives come and go all the time. What's the big deal? Speaking of warmongers, why... What about that mother of yours, princess? She said she won't feel alive until she has everything. It breaks my heart to see such greed. The war was my fault? No, no! Your mother wanted it. All I did was give her a little push. Liar! My mother was sweet and kind. You changed her. Ha! So the curtain rises. Perfect, my canary. Let me show you the truth about your mother. First act. The end of the ugly desire. It's showtime! Uh-oh. Cutscene. Wah-ha! Kuja, so you finally decided to show your girly face here. You're all that stands between me and total domination. Ha! But I haven't forgotten all you've done for me. In return, I shall show you the ultimate power. Attention all hands! Order the black mages to focus all their magical energies into a single spell. Lay suppressing fire upon Kuja until the casting is finished. Hoi! 
Fire! Fire at will! Orders from Her Majesty! Black Mages, focus all your magical energy into a single spell! Kill! I missed, uh, um, Queen Bran. I, I can't believe it! Your mother isn't satisfied with just one continent. Her ugliness and stupidity are truly impressive. Ah, everything is proceeding as I have foreseen. What are you talking about? You're just the opening number. Time for the real show. We won't let you get away! The mist may be created no more, but it still lurks in caves and forests, right? Huh? I can make monsters with magic! Come forth, spawn of the mist! Uh-oh. Oh, creepy! <laughs> oh, you like fire, huh? I give you ice, hot fire! Mistadon, huh? Now let's see if I can remember all the stuff I have to keep track of in battle. one of the few songs in this game I'm not a fan of. Probably because it was the song that was playing that one time when it got stuck um, doubling it. You know, because remember the game glitched out and it was playing two at completely different times? Like, like they were off, off from each other? It was horrible. So, two of your enemies are duking it out? Why not just leave them and finish off the winner? My money's on Kuja. Ha! Foolish Bran! Your prized cannons are useless against the spawn of the mist! Ha 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 I can't laugh. I can't do a fake laugh. It sounds horrible. Ha 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 ha! But even a fool like you knows there's only one path you can take, right? Stupid elephant lady! Why do you hesitate? Very well. I'll make the first move. I'll give you a clean target. You can't miss! Ha! Silver Dragon, descend! Amaranth's right. Let's split before we get dragged in. No, I can't. I can't let anything happen to my mother. It's not even your mom! We established that last episode. Garnet. Dan, I... I have to save her! Uh, Garnet? She extracted Eidolons from you and started a war! I still don't want her to die! But she didn't care one bit whether you lived or died! You don't have to call her mother anymore! She's my only mother! I don't care if you don't understand! Mustard, you said there was an Eidolon in prison near here, right? Mm, 
yeah. Please tell me where. It's a long way down. You see the place with lots of roots? That's it. There, I see it. Garnet, don't go all alone! This is turning into quite a show. Water time, guys. Hold on. <laughs> it went up my nose. Oh. Sorry, guys. I'm sure that sounded dis disgusting. Anyone who can get emotional at a time like this, give her a break. Dan, let's go! Garnet's in danger all by yourself! Ow. I think I might have messed up my voice a little bit, but that... You know, yeah! Let's go after her. scared the crap out of me. I should have kept running.
with that phoenix? I sense the Eidolon's power. Now, I can save my mother! Please help me! No, 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 it's Leviathan. Aqua, yep, Leviathan. No! Oh, I wasn't talking to you, buddy. Sorry, the dog thought I was talking to him. I can't save my mother without the, with this Eidolon. Or Eidolon. I think that's how you're supposed to say it. Garnet, what's wrong? Can't you free it? No, I have it. I sense it's a great Eidolon, but... But... I don't believe it! This is the legendary sea serpent, Leviathan! Leviathan?! An Eidolon who wipes out its enemies with a huge tidal wave! I'm sorry, Garnet. No, it's not your fault. But my mother's still in danger! Hold on just a sec, guys. As I've said a million times, sorry about that. But I have a sinus problem. If I don't do that, it just hangs in the back of, in the back of my mouth and it's gross. Girl. Girl. Is, it, is her, her majesty ready yet? I had to read that sentence twice before it made sense. All remaining ammunition was spread on the last wave of monsters. The next wave will chew us up unless we pull out now! That is not our decision! Get back to your post, soldier! Girl. 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 Run. Run. Your Majesty, the Black Mages have completed their preparations. That insolent whelp! Now I can finish him off! Come! Draconic Sabling! Bahamut! Oh shoot, I almost got Bahamut King of Dragons! This is bad, we saw what Odin did. Oh no. I forgot how good these FMBs look. Yeah, sorry, but I don't think your silver dragon can match up to the, you know, lord of all dragons. Ooh, you bleeding. I'm loving it. I've heard the stories, but I never thought summoning could be so powerful. If Zidane is after their power, I'd better watch out. God, you're a jerk, man. Why did we even let you come along? I was excited about him, and now I'm like, dude, I don't even want you in my party. Wow. Now we can win, and Mother won't have to die. Yeah, mine's not an infection so much as it's just like a, you know, I've got some deviations back there that where the, the palate in the back of my mouth hangs down too low. Mustard, don't you think? What's wrong? Mog, she's terrified. How come? Don't you know? That's the last Eidolon. Bahamut the Dragon King. He'll win for sure. Blood. <laughs> Ah! That one wasn't bad. Excellent, Bahamut! Power! Mobility! You are truly the best! You can even hurt me! A little. And you, Bran, your tragic role in this drama now comes to an end! I'm sure you'll enjoy the second act from your soul's hellish prison, since the stage will be your former home! 
The final act will take us away from Gaia, and I will kill my nemesis with my own hand. <laughs> Everything is acco going according to plan. Whoa! Oh, that's creepy. Um. Um, uh. What the hell? Oh my god, oh! Dude! Oh my god! Why is he like in that dragon? Did anybody else see that? But seriously, what the hell, man? I don't know why Bahamut attacked or who summoned him. That was crazy! Why is this game so dark? I had no freaking idea! I thought this was gonna be the lighthearted one. Jeez. But we found Queen Bran on the beach, next to her escape pod. She could hardly move, and I thought she'd come to a stop any second. I hate Kuja a lot, but I hate Bran a lot too. So much that I wanted this to happen to her. I should be happy, but... Once I saw Garnet- wait, who's talking? Is it Zidane? Once I saw <laughs> once I saw Garnet start to cry, I didn't know how I should feel. I kind of wanted to. Oh wait, that's probably Vivi. I kind of wanted to cry too. I. Can hear my daughter's voice. Yes, mother, I'm here. Right here. I, I am empty now. Free, free, free of that terrible greed. Mother, I haven't. I felt this way since I saw that play with you and your father. I led Alexandria down the path of ruin. The people will be happy with you on the throne. Huh. Jeez, dude. I'm just gonna talk regular because I don't know who's talking. We went back to Alexandria on Queen Brand's escape pod. We also brought Garnet's mother with us. Disc three. Oh, Dr. Tot. This way, princess. I don't remember what voice I gave him. I have no recollection. It's been a long time. <gasps> oh! Oh, it's my, it's my dude! It's my boy! Steiner. Beatrix. How horrible that her life had to end this way. I still can't believe all that has happened. Princess, it was my- NO! IT WAS MY FAULT! 
Thank you, both of you. I must now carry the burden of ruling Alexandria alone. Will both of you please help me during my time of need? Yes, princess! Certainly! Thank you. Princess, here is a wreath of roses, your mother's favorite. I give most old people that voice, so I'm guessing that's what I gave him. The townspeople sent it as an offering for the queen's grave. True, Queen Bran had been acting quite erratic before her death. But the people are still very fond of her, as you can see. Mother. I shall become a great queen. I'm so happy he's back. You guys have no idea how much I missed him. I was so annoyed. I noticed their, their feet are awkwardly not going up and down. Princess, we have arrived at the castle. She won't be a princess for much longer, Dr. Tot. Whose hair is long again? I don't. I didn't see anybody's hair short. I shall have to call you Queen Garnet after the coronation. I must make preparations for the crowning of our new queen. General Beatrix Master Steiner, will you help her? Yeah, I didn't... When did... did she didn't cut her hair, did she? I'm, not that I ever saw. Princess, please watch your step. Dr. Todd. Oh, well, I mean, her hair is... If you look at her model, her hair has been down to the bottom of her back the entire game. Princess. I know how hard this must be, but I will be by your side. Please take the throne with full confidence. Three more days until the crowning of a new queen. What a day! Oh my god. We ain't seen each other in ages. Why the sourpuss, partner? What... What happened? Maybe that garnet chick dumped him. Bingo! This ain't like you at all, Zidane. Hey, Ruby! I heard you started a mini-theater. That's right, darling! My plays are a hit! Cool! Let's go watch! Yeah! Alright, cowboys! Zidane, you ain't coming, are you? That's alright, darling! 
Come on over whenever you want. Let's go, boys. Buck and Bronco. I still remember that line. This way, everyone. Oops, sorry. Huh? Hey, Vivi. Hello. I haven't seen you since you left Alexandria Castle. How are you? Well, a lot of things happened, but I'm doing fine. How about you? What have you been doing since we left the castle? Me? Let's see. Oh yeah, it's been crazy since you guys escaped. <clears throat> Rusty, that rat chick, Freya, and... What's your face? That girl general of Alexandria. Beatrix. Beatrix. I thought it was her walking up behind him. Yeah, the three of them got totally worked. Oh, God, I got... Oh, no. Hiccups, guys. Mustard! Marcus and I had to carry them, carry them out on our backs. M Marcus! We gotta get going before Ruby gets mad at us again. Oh yeah, she hates it when we're late. Sorry, Vivi, I'll see you later. Long time no see. Been a long time! Been a while! Where have you been? We were worried! Sorry, I've been training! Training? Yeah, training! Training for what? Tell us! It was... Okay. So fun to run around! Yeah! Wait for me! Welcome! Dan's done himself in this time. Yeah. But think about it. He's never been in a serious relationship before. He probably doesn't even know what to do with himself right now. Come on. He's in love with the queen. Did he think it'd work out? I'm sure he thought about that a lot. That's why he's turning in- that's why he's in turmoil, not turning in turmoil. He looks so depressed. Yeah. But this is something he needs to deal with head on. This is gonna make him stronger, you'll see. Hip sway, jeez. Where did my son go? He's always playing with this cat. Oh good lord, it's been a long time since we were here. Holy crap. Boat to the castle is currently out of service. But jeez. Sorry to keep you guys waiting. Hey, Schlitzkin, long time no see. 
Hey, Artemicon, why is your coat so shiny? Oh god, now their accent's getting mixed up with the dwarf guys. I can't tell what's what anymore. Well, it's none of my business. Listen, have you been delivering mail properly? Of course I have. Are you sure that you delivered all my mail to my friends? Of course I did, you sent out two. But what about the other four? Where's the weapon store? I'm guessing this would be it. No, it's synthesis. Ooh! Angel bless, huh? And I've only got this right now. There are strange men hanging around my shop. Hold on, let me see what the hell it was. I think it was a Mithril Dagger and a Gladius. Yep. Yes! Yes! Family is precious! I haven't seen my brother in ages! We look alike, but inside we're very different! <sighs> what do you mean? We deserve the room at 300 gil for three nights! Um, no, it's actually 100 gil per night. But I chose this inn because I heard it was 100 gil for three nights. Dear, let's just pay 300 gil and stay at this inn. Well, um, it's cor cor I almost said it's cor coronavirus week. <laughs> It's coronation week, so the rain is 120 gil per night. Wh wh what? What kind of business are you running here? He's making such a scene. I'm so embarrassed right now. Yeah, it is kind of embarrassing. You think so too? Oh, what should we do? We can't back down now! What is going on here? Let me in, damn it. Um, um. No, not these guys again.
You know what? I was gonna wait. I was trying to wait until I had my party before I bought a lot of weapons and stuff, but I could always just buy some clothes. Oh, that means I gotta walk by these jerks again. They creep me out. Yeah, they are strange men in your shop, dude. You should tell them to go. Hardest Final Fantasy game I've played was probably this one. I mean, I've said before, I fully admit that um, previously I never really beat Final... Um, a very... The only Final Fantasy I've beat without cheats before this was... Um, was... 15. I yeah, remember, I was really young when I played a lot of them. Um, and... Um, I beat most of 12. I got like almost all the way to the end without them. But so it's very hard for me to say like which is hardest. There, see? specific person who knows who they are, I got rid of the Multina Rackets. See? No! I think I just sold the new weapon I had for, uh, Steiner. Oh well. I'll get a new one somewhere. There's another one right there, so I'll just buy it back. I mean, I lost a little money, but what can you do? See you later, Samurai. I probably don't have that much longer. This will probably be a relatively shorter stream. I won't go like two, two full hours. It'll probably go about an hour and a half. Got a little bit of a sore throat. I just wanted to get back to it. Ruby's mad at me again. How can I calm her down? Yo, Vivi! Can you do me a favor? What is it? I want you to see Ruby's play with us. Sure, I like plays. Cool. Go down the staircase behind us. That's where Ruby's theater is. Bro. You and Ruby really don't get along very well. Don't you know I hate it when you're late? How many times do I gotta tell you? Huh? Who are you? Strange, kinda. Hey, BB. Is he a friend of yours, Cinna? Hello, Uncle Cinna. <clears throat> I'm not old enough to be your uncle. I'm younger than I look. Haha! <laughs> hey, you're a funny one. I like you. Want to see my play, little fella? Um, yeah. Oh, what a sweetie. I like you even more. We'll get rolling in a minute. Sit wherever you want. I think your plan worked. Ain't nothing to it. Blank, we'll talk later. 
busted. Steiner! Yes, princess! Um... I'd like to find Zidane and talk to him. Princess, you have more important matters at hand! You live in a different world now! Oh, what's happening here? Princess, it is time for you to get changed. General Beatrix, will you help her? Yes, sir. Oh, there is something I must give you, Princess. Yeah, she, they were talking about, um, about blank. Oh, wow, I got stuff. Those stones contain your power, which Queen Bran forcibly... Well, that is all in the past. Master Steiner? Master Steiner, do you intend to stay here and watch? No, 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 I am, I am not, no. Oh, uh, uh, excuse me. Oh, oh, no. Beatrix, I'd like to see Zidane, please. Now may not be a good time. Even you agree with Steiner. Your Highness. I know. It's okay. Oh. The garnet out of the picture. Now's my chance to win Zidane's heart. First, I'll write him a love letter. I'm gonna make it the most romantic letter ever written. Becoming a queen may place quite a burden on Queen Princess Garnet. But she must persevere. The people of Alexandria are watching. He looks pretty smart. Hey! You look like the bookish type. Haha! <laughs> what gives you that impression? You really want me to explain? Oh yes, I'm very curious. Where should I start? First, your beard. Second, your nerdy hat. Third, your thick eyeglasses. All signs of a nerdy philosopher. Ha ha, you don't hold back, do you? Hey, are you a writer? Well, yes, I did make my living as a writer for a while. Will you help me write a letter? A letter? Gladly, if you think I can be of assistance. Okay then, follow me! Now with this mod, we can see that horrifying picture of Queen Bran in the background in higher resolution than ever. That girl has a horn. That horn. I had completely forgotten about it until now. I'd never been as surprised as I was that day. A ship drifted ashore after a storm. Inside the ship were a woman and a baby girl. The woman was dead, but the girl was still breathing. Imagine my surprise as I looked into the girl's face, because the girl looked exactly like Princess Garnet, who had just passed away. With one exception, she had- Oh! Garnet had a horn and they cut it off! A human with a horn. Where had she come from? The king ordered the girl's horn removed. The girl cried out in pain. He and his wife, Queen Bran, decided to raise the girl as Princess Garnet. But that girl who spoke to me, could she be related to Princess Garnet? Hey! Will you hurry up? 
Oh, excuse me. Princess, you look splendid. Thank you. By the way, there is something I must tell you, Beatrix. Yes, Princess? I am not my mother's. I mean, Queen Brand is not my real mother. Princess Garnet. Dr. Tot has already informed us. However, my allegiance to you remains the same, if not stronger. Beatrix. Thank you. It's finished! <clears throat> the dad will fall in love with me the instant he reads this letter. Thanks, mister! Ha! It was my pleasure, my lady. Oh, I forgot to tell you, my name is Mustard. I'm from Medane Sari. I hope to see you again. Bye bye From Medane Sari. Medane Sari is the village of summoners. But I thought it was only a legend. What could this mean? Where am I going? Zidane's in town! Oh, I can't wait to hand this letter to Zidane! Where did he go, anyway? Ah, help! Hey! Are you okay? I can't breathe! Sorry! I didn't see you jump out! But you're too high up! I can't get you down! Yeah, yeah! Stop laughing, you poop! Oh, shoot! My letter! Hey, if you can't get me down, deliver that letter to Zidane! Alright? To Zidane? Yeah! No problem! Yeah, 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 yeah! Oh, she's so sad up there. What am I supposed to do now? Hey, boat ain't here. Cast patrol completed. Huh? Why, if it isn't Baku? The leader of Tantalus! Who just called my name? Oh, it's you! Should we capture him? No! He saved my life! You will go! Oh, you may go! I will handle this! Yes, sir! Ain't such a knucklehead anymore, huh? Silence! This is no place for thieves! You must leave! Now! So that's how it is, huh? Do I gotta remind you that one of my boys saved your kingdom? But I bet you ain't got no ears for listening to a lowlife like me. Are you... Oh, God. Are you talking about Zidane? Yes, he did protect the princess and her kingdom. But that doesn't change the fact that you are all thieves! I cannot let your kind roam about the castle. No appreciation whatsoever, eh? Well, I don't got any reason to stay here anyway. Hey, you know where Zidane might be? He hasn't visited the castle since we returned. Maybe he can teach you a thing or two about proper manners! 
Okay, I get your point. You've had enough of your self-righteousness. Ah, perfect timing. Take me into town. Ah, so it was Steiner. I thought I heard him yelling. <sighs> Alexandria is at peace again, yet my heart is full of sorrow. Why? Hmm? Steiner must have dropped this. Let's see. When the night sky wears the moon as its pendant, I shall await you at the dock. Well, what is this letter? D did Steiner... Write me a love letter? Steiner. I knew that was gonna happen. Garnet! Are you all cozy on your throne already? No! No, no, no! I can't start my day without Garnet. Her smile, her voice, her voice is like a beautiful song. And her song makes me soar high into the sky. But now, you can still fly high, darling. Dan, you can do it. She's right. Why are you still moping? This isn't like you at all. Yeah. Stop it. You don't understand how I feel. Whoa. Long time no season, Dan. What happened? You look pathetic. Boss, let me join Tantalus again. We can steal treasure together, just like old times. Treasure, eh? There ain't much treasure lying around this world, boy. Besides, a tantalus always gets what he sets his eyes on. That's our rule number one, remember? No, you don't. You got no right to join us. You understand what I'm saying? If you can't even capture a canary, you ain't got what it takes to join tantalus. Boss. Hey, Zidane, can we go see Garnet? Ah! Why can't you be more honest like this little guy? Can we? Can we? Please? Alright. Let's cheer her on before she becomes a queen. Yeah! Whew. All right, guys, I'm going to find the nearest Moogle, and then that's going to be it for this stream, because it's been so long, my voice is not used to this anymore, and it's slowly turning into hamburger, as I'm sure you probably can tell. I'm starting to completely lose my voice. Oh, my God. Darn! I forgot to give Zidane that letter! Huh? 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 Gah! I lost it. Yeah, I can't do that anymore. Moogle! Yeah, I need a Moogle.
Mughal, Mughal, where are you? Dude, your face. <laughs> yeah, I've mentioned on the um, on the Discord a couple of times recently that I've been feeling kind of under the weather, and part of what's come with that has been a lot of sore. Oh no, hold on. That's a Dan. Doesn't even stop by to say hello. What are you staring at? Are you really that tough? Try me! I don't go looking for trouble. But when I do, I look for you. Why don't you apologize and maybe I'll forgive you? Ha! Stop right now or I will charge both of you with disorderly conduct. Hey, what's going on here? Sedan! I'd love to stop and talk, but I'm busy right now. Is she a friend of yours? Then tell her who I am. Tell her I'm the flaming jerk. There's a lot of words I wanted to say that weren't jerk. Tell her I'm the flaming poo head. Sorry, Amaranth. She's just a little worked up about something. Sorry, babe. They're my friends. Will you let them go for my sake? Sure. Princess Garnet asks us to give special treatment to you, Master Vivi, and Miss Freya. Garnet. I, I see, thanks. Ow. Hey, Freya. Stop being so mad, alright? Do you know why I'm really mad? It's because of you! Where have you been? Garnet's about to become queen and you're off wandering about. Have you found out anything more about Kuja? Well, answer me! Um... Well, I tried to find out more info, but... Look, if Kuja was responsible for taking Garnet's I Eidolans... I'm gonna start calling them Eidolans, because I do believe I remember that's what the proper name is. And killing Bran, who was working with him. Don't you think he'd come after Garnet again? I know. But what can I do? I couldn't even talk to her, remember? I don't even know if I can protect her. Besides, she's gonna be queen. She'll have all the guards she'll need. She won't need me. But Sedan! I think Garnet wants to see you. So, let's go see her. Yeah. But we'll leave as soon as we're done. Zidane. You're not getting away from me. You still owe me a rematch. What are you, Vegeta? Maybe I should have given him that voice. You're not getting away from me. You still owe me a rematch. But we already did that with Steiner, so... Suit yourself. Oh my god, Moogle, please. I don't want to get stuck in another cutscene because my throat really hurts.
Looks like I have to go. I don't think there's any other option, really. I'll have to remember that about the, you know, these games, and if I've got a kind of a sore throat, I might be. Maybe ne whenever that happens, that might be a day we'll do a Dragon Quest episode or something, because I think that's the only. Well, that or Xenoblade are the only games I've got that are fully voiced right now. I think the only games we're playing, I should say. Ah, let go! Ouch! This is no way to treat a lady. Quit screaming, or I'll throw you into the dungeon! Ah! What happened, Mustard? Sedan! Oh, it was horrible! He called me a liar and a loudmouth and a brat. He's right. What did you just say? Do you want to repeat that? Man, I hate kids. Calm down a little. What's your name? Me? I'm Mustard. Mustard Carol of Medane Sorry. I don't even remember what her regular... Oh, it's Ico. Yeah. From Medane Sorry. Why? I've never heard of it. Don't you know anything? Medane Sorry is a... SILENCE! What are you all doing here? This is the royal castle. You do not belong here. Hello, Mr. Steiner. Master Bibi, a pleasure to see you again. We came here to see Garnet. Princess? Hmm. If that is Master Bibi's wish, I shall arrange a meeting. Oh, ow. You all wait right here. Princess, we are ready! Could you walk a little slower, please? Thank you all for coming, everyone. She looks beautiful. Wow, you look beautiful! Splendid! Zidane, have you nothing to say? No. Princess, we must go now. Sedan. All right. Garnet, wait! Garnet, is this the last time we're ever going to see each other? Oh no, of course not. I won't be able to wander around the world with you anymore. But I'll never forget our journey together. Garnet. I wanted us to remain good rivals forever. Rivals? Mustard, you say funny, funny things sometimes. Oh, there are some things I wanted to give you. Let's trade the jewels as a symbol of our friendship. Two of my jewels. Two of my jewels. They're family jewels. Goodbye, Mustard. Again, more awkward stuff whenever I've got a wide screen and, I'm, and this game wasn't designed to be played that way, so you got people just standing off screen like that. Why didn't you say anything to her, Dan? I don't know. I tried. And? I couldn't say anything! I had a whole speech ready for her. But it would have been a lie. How could I lie to her? Good luck, Garnet. I'll be watching you from afar. Come find me if you need someone to talk to. 
It's all a big fat lie. That's not how I feel at all. That's not how I feel. At all. So there's only room for Garnet into Dan's heart. I wish I hadn't written that stupid letter. Dan looks so sad. Isn't there anything I can do for him? Ah! So Dan, I hate you! You insensitive fool! You don't even know how I feel. I feel bad about ditching him, but I really don't feel like seeing him tonight. I gotta hide before he shows up. Shoot! Someone's coming! Can it be Sedan? There's no one here, bro. I guess I'm early. Maybe. I want- oh my god. I wonder who wrote you that love letter. Well, just read the letter. I bet she's- oh my god, they all found the letter. I bet she's beautiful. Really? Are you sure you didn't write it yourself? I mean, you caught the letter falling from the floor above you, right? I'm telling you, she was too shy to hand me the letter herself. If you don't think I'm a ladies man, you're wrong. Chicks are intimidated by good looking guys, that's why. Someone's coming. Marcus, don't interrupt me when I'm talking. Let's hide, bro. Alright, alright. Must tighten up security around the castle from now on. Dust to dawn, rain or shine, I must patrol the castle. Right, clear. Left, clear. Huh? The pipe piece, it's a piece of paper. This looks like a letter. Let's see. When the night sky wears the moon as it's pendant, I shall await you at the dock. My goodness! This is a love letter. Who wrote it to whom? <laughs> right? Twilight? Oh my god, where's the Moogle? <laughs> I'm sure you can hear this is... You know, I'm, I'm gonna be coughing up chunks shortly. Hmm. No address or addressee! Did someone drop it here knowing that I would pass by? Who could have been? Oh no. Steiner. Beatrix, was it you? <laughs> uh, are they in love? Bro. bro. Shh, quiet. Steiner. Beatrix! Oh, what's gonna happen? M my nose is bleeding. Let's stick your thumb up it. Achoo! Oh, achoo! Achoo! All the hardest to voice characters are all in like one spot right now, and it's kind of killing me. Boss! Oh, you totally ruined the scene! That's a Dan. Where did he go? Who knows? I'll go look for him. Ah! Oh my... Ah! Hey, watch it! I'm not in a good mood right now. Stay out of my way. Jeez. Excuse me. Have you seen a young lady named Mustard? Oh! It's the nerdy guy. Ha 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 ha. You are as energetic as ever. Yep, I'm always energetic. But I'm actually hurting on the inside for being rejected by Sedan. Did you say something? No, I didn't. Didn't you come here to tell me about something? Oh, yes, I almost forgot. The village... What was the name? My name's Sari. 
Yes, I wanted to ask you a few questions about Madan Sari. Sure, I'll tell you everything I know. You help me out. But well, why don't we go to your place? We can relax there. My home? My home is located in Trino. It's a bit far from here. Trino sounds like a cool place. I'm really interested in sightseeing. I want to go there. I'm coming with you. Uh, <laughs> there's a card game tournament going on in Trino right now. I want to participate. A card game tournament? That sounds fun. I want to go too. <laughs> my, my throat. <laughs> I'd like to go as well. Trino, huh? <laughs> Trino, huh? Ha! Huh. Quite a party this is becoming. It would be my pleasure. We shall all go to Trino. There's still mist here. Kind of looks like the Aoife tree before we got rid of the mist. I don't think the mist is as dense as it was before. Yes, I heard that you all stopped the mist. The mist permeated through the roots. That's probably why it still lingers here. This is a Gargant? Yes, shall we? Clowns on a dark night. Oh! No one is here! There's no one here, really? Yes! Sir, you heard about that? I'm telling you, every character with the crazy voices are who's showing up today. That is enough! Now we do what? We are going to ask Princess Garnet if we can return to the castle. Turn to the castle, can we really? I will not know until... Ah! We must hide! It looks like no one's here. Yeah. I guess this is about the only thing we can do for Zidane. Keep up the night watch and preserve Alexandria's peace. Yeah, I think so, too. What a peaceful night. It's almost scary. Okay, let's finish our rounds. All right. That was close! No, Ed! We cannot stay as long as those members are here. We must leave Alexandria! never knew about this secret passage. Bop, 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 I apologize for the lack of space. It's fine. Hey, Amaranth, have you been here before? What about you? Me? I've been to every place where there are beautiful women. Ha, ha, ha. Wow. Can we talk about Madan Sari later? I want to go sightseeing! Oh, of course. There's no hurry. What are you staring at? Let's go! Who? Me? Yes, you. This is my first time in Trino. Show me around. Then I shall go as well. I'll take this chance to relax. What about you, Amaranth? I don't understand him. You know, today is the last day for the card game tournament registration. Well then, better go... Uh, well then, I'd better go register. I'm a skilled card player. Please let me know if you need assistance. Hey, I'm not so out of practice that I need your help. I see. Good luck. <laughs> Um, why didn't you... Why didn't I invite Zidane? Y yeah. 
Those two are thick like bricks. They don't realize how they feel about one another until they're apart. What do you mean? Ah! You big dope! Okay, listen carefully. Dan really likes Garnet. But Dan wants to act cool, so they misunderstand each other and end up fighting. Now do you understand? Not really. Dan wouldn't stop acting cool in front of me either. It's so hopeless. Hey, what's that? Is that the card stadium? Hey, wait. Ah, she's gone. Hey, you're... Huh? I never expected to run into you again. Um, thank you very much for your help on the airship. Hey, no worries. My master is a good man. Anyone else would have refused. You should thank my master. He's the one who agreed to take you to Alexandria for free. Yeah. So how was the play? Did you like it? Yeah. Wasn't there an accident during the show? Were you okay? Oh, um... Well, yeah, I was okay. Good. Well, I gotta get back to work. Hey, don't you live near Trino? Yes, I do. Your family must be worried. Go home soon. See ya. Latest on the men, Jay. But Grandpa's gone. Well, since I'm so close to home, I might as well stop by. I remember there's a Moogle there. Nothing's changed. Damn it, the bird actually didn't fall for it. Gotta find my next scam. Damn, ain't you gonna apologize for that? Hey, I'm talking to you. Don't you know who I am? I need to be able to get to the overworld, Kate, Twilight. No. What? I'm the infamous... Huh? I've seen you somewhere before. Ah! You! You're the Flaming Amaranth! I'm sorry! Yet again, another case of a game that, that's not supposed to be widescreen and someone's just awkwardly standing over there on the side. What happened, Amaranth? That guy was totally frightened. I think I've kind of plateaued where I just, you know, it just feels... It's kind of meat grindery at the moment, but it's... Stabilize. Oh, I know. You were being a bully, weren't you? Ugh. My grandpa always told me that bullies are actually cowards. Just leave me alone. He, so he's traveling with a kid. I never knew the Flaming Emma had a soft spot for kids. Well now, excuse me. So weird. Amaranth, where are you going? So weird.
I purchased the life-size griffin statue the other day. How wonderful! I bet it's gorgeous. Indeed it is. I had to add a room to my mansion for it. Oh my! Everything costs so much. I'm also thinking about buying a behemoth statue for our mansion. Everything costs so much! Ah ha 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 ha! Hmm. I guess city people have their problems too. I see you over there, Gilgamesh. I thought they would be more carefree. Koopa Popo! Huh? Koopa. Hey! What are you doing? Hello, little girl. Oh, you're the one who's been pushed around by Amaranth. Ha! Huh. Don't be silly. So, what can I do for you, Mr. Wimpy? Alright, hey, are you new here? Uh-huh, I'm sightseeing. Hey, why don't I show you around? No thanks, I'm fine by myself. Well, wait! Damn it, why do I gotta deal with this brat? I just need to nab her and get even with Amaranth. That bounty on his head is mine for the taking. I'm leaving! Wait, take I'll take you out to dinner. Dinner? That's right. What would you like to eat? Trino, gelato, seaweed pasta, the choice is yours. You oh, I just saw you say you have delicious food? Yeah, lots of delicious Huh? Hey, Queena! You say you have delicious food? What? Who the heck are you? I want delicious food! Ah! Why, 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 gotta? Are you part of Amaranth's posse? Maybe Amaranth hired him to protect the girl, huh? I'm sorry, you get delicious food! So weird. Koopa Paul. Hey, he dropped something. Chimera armor. Oh! 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 Oh, yes! Yay! I love this game, but I've never been so happy to find a save point. That's gonna be all for this episode today, guys. Um, I, I, you know, I, I would have liked to, you know, even though we went past, like, where I was originally wanting to stop, even before I started, you know, feeling like I was gargling razor blades, we went a little further than I originally wanted to go, but I still would like to have gone a little further. I guess that's a good sign for coming back to it within the next couple days. Are you kidding me? It saved when we got- oh, oh wait, no, it didn't save for a while. It saved on the plane. That was a long- no, yeah. Wow, it hadn't saved in an hour and a half. It hadn't saved since we were about to fight, uh, Kuja. I'm glad I didn't just go out. That would've sucked, man. But yeah, that's it for this episode, guys. I appreciate you watching it with me, you know, playing- being here, even though it was super late. Um, uh, I've learned the hard way from the last month or so not to make any promises I don't know if I can keep, but hopefully we'll be able to keep a much better schedule now with this. I definitely enjoyed this. But until next time, this is Neo Midgar signing off. Have a good night, guys.